This is the Earth as we all know it, a round sphere. Over 2,000 years ago, the Earth's circumference was calculated in Greece. Despite this, some people believe our Earth doesn't look like this at all, but that it looks like this. There's even a society that's working to disseminate this belief, the Flat Earth Society. We all agree, we're not on a spinning ball flying through space. In order to track down the truth, we need to learn to think scientifically. There isn't an easy way to do that. Okay, but there are six basic ideas that can help us. Firstly, never believe something simply because you want to believe. We humans love good stories. They make sense to us and they give our lives a purpose. That might feel good, but facts are still facts. Whether we like them or not, cannot play a role in the search for the truth. So, adherents of the flat earth theory often believe, for religious reasons, that the earth is actually flat. According to this theory, our planet is not simply one of many, but God's great stage on which creation is played out. Secondly, formulate theories so that they are falsifiable. According to Karl Popper, so this guy here, a theory is only scientific when, in principle, it can be proven false through observation. A really good theory makes contentions which are clearly verifiable, so that the potential exists for the theory to fail, in that it states things which observation then disproves. Actually, the flat earth theory doesn't perform too badly here. It can indeed be tested by flying around the earth in a rocket and taking photos. That then looks like this. Thirdly, look for observations which contradict your theory. Here, the flat earth theory offers many points of attack. One can watch ships on the horizon, for example. The curvature of the Earth hides the hull from view, yet the mast is still visible. And were the Earth really flat, then at night it would never become completely dark either, because the sun would still be visible. Lunar phases and the seasons would then be inexplicable. The flat Earth hypothesis fails under observation. Fourthly, ask about the sources. Where's all the information from? Is it based on opinions or real scientific research? Have the results been published in scientific journals? In medicine, it's often important, are the results from animal testing or clinical studies? Perhaps even from meta-analyses for which information from many scientific studies has been combined. This also increases the reliability of the results. Here too, the flat earth fails catastrophically. Arguments for the theory can only be found in internet forums. Scientific sources confirming it don't exist. And no, this study was not published in any serious journal. And the author claims he can communicate with aliens too. Fifthly, does the theory fit with what we already know? Many things have been well examined, such as the theory of evolution, the existence of atoms, or the law of gravity. And in science, everything is connected to everything. The flat earth hypothesis has a problem. Were it correct, everything you know about the laws of gravity and the trajectory of the stars must all be wrong. Sixthly, no theory can explain everything. Science, for example, is like a toolbox. Every theory has its application, but none can be applied to everything. There is good reason we have different scientific disciplines, from physics to biology, and finally, the humanities. And if someone claims that their new idea can explain everything from the composition of the earth to morality, then there's good reason to be skeptical. Nobody's born with the ability for scientific thought. One has to learn it, like a foreign language. It is incredibly comfortable and the easy way out to slap together a simple theory and just believe it, even when substantiated facts contradict it. And so in future, there'll still be people who claim that the earth doesn't look like this, but but looks like this. We shouldn't laugh about it, but instead we should begin with ourselves. We all believe silly things sometimes. That's not really so bad, so long as we try to make an effort every day to become a little smarter.